Howdy folks, another day at Coffee and Jewels. This, uh, this episode is another wood project, simple, easy to do. Uh, the results are pretty cool, so got a helicopter flying over me again. Huh. What else is new? The, uh, this one's only going to require a few things. We're going to need some scrap lumber, a small uh, T-nut, which I'll show you what that is, and some elastic bands. Couple screws, a little bit of woodworking, and we're gonna have something that's very useful for YouTubers, or you could make it up for a gift for somebody else that does, you know, photography or YouTubing or anything. It's a conversion between a simple tripod, an inexpensive one possibly, and an, a large iPhone or even uh, an iPad, you know, or tablet, uh, or somebody else's tablet, like Samsung or somebody. But it's a conversion kit that will help you to work with a tripod when you need to be steady so you're not you know being handheld all the time god knows i do not like handheld uh, iphone shots like this uh, like TikTok has <clears throat> you know it gives me a migraine watching that stuff so anyways we're going to make this and you could probably resell it or gift it out or whatever or make a bunch of them and sell them you could customize them there's uh just i'm just going to show you the basics you run with the ball okay Let's get started. Over to the project bench, here we are. Now, this is the things we're gonna to need today. We're gonna to need some scrap lumber, just really a couple pieces all we're gonna need, but I picked these out for a reason, so I wanna show you this, but a uh, couple screws, and the big secret of success here will be this T-nut. Now, the T-nut needs to be quarter 20. So when you buy one of these, well, you get a couple in a bag, whatever, will be quarter 20. In this case, it's by 7 16ths. The 7 16ths is the size I chose for this project today, but it doesn't have to be a 7 16ths. You could get a shorter or longer one, but that would change the lumber dimensions and things. So I'm going with 7 16ths. Seemed like a good size at the time. And a couple screws. Again, I just have a big box full of these screws, so I'm just gonna use them for this particular uh, little project. And we need some lumber, and I wanted to show you something. I went into my scrap lumber. Oh, and never forget, we always need some elastic bands. I didn't have anything decent, so I ran over to, uh, I was either Dollar General, Dollar Tree, or Dollar Family, or whatever, one of those, and picked up a bag full of uh, elastic bands. I don't like these. I would like something a little thicker, but this will do for today for the project. You might want to look for a better rubber band than what I got here. But also, you'll need a cell phone. What? Cell phone? Yeah, and of course coffee, and we're gonna get into some tools here. But this is what we're gonna need to start. Now, what happened here was really quick. Uh, I picked up this piece of scrap, and you can see it's smiling back at me, and it's in really bad shape. It's all dried out. Just about ready for, a, I guess we have to pretty much say that this is gonna have to go to the fire pit because it's so bad. So that was a no. Uh, this piece was too thick. Because one of the things I want is I want to be able to install this in the hole, and I want this to be just an eighth of an inch off. This is a little bit too thick, so that was a piece of scrap that wasn't going to be able to be used. I picked up this piece of scrap wood, and I thought, oh, that would be a good piece for it. And then I saw this. When I started chipping away at it a little bit, I noticed they've got metal in here. And again, if you're a woodworker, that is a scary option to have anywhere near your power tools. So, yeah, this is actually going to be uh, in the fire pit today and the reason is I just don't want to take any chances there's brad nails hidden and whatever else in here so this has got to go it's it's unfortunate I love to keep you know old pieces of wood around for projects just like this but it's not worth it when you get into when you see something like that show up in your face you're like not worth it anyways okay so much for that so we're down to some scrap lumber. We're actually gonna cut this eventually, but right now this is too thick, so I'm gonna to have to run it through the planer and get it down to where this is just, this top of this, I'll show you this, the top of this is about an eighth of an inch below the lumber because we're actually gonna be installing that in the lumber this way for this particular project. And I'll get this on the planer and then we'll be back. So uh, I'm going to drill a hole 
a uh, couple of inches back, well maybe two inches, it's really kind of like doesn't matter that much because of the type of project we're doing, but it's come back a couple inches. I'm going to drill a 5 16 hole, and the reason I'm telling you all this is because due to the fun fleece, you're not actually going to see me use the drill because I'm not doing it safely. So, but I'm going to make a hole in this thing, 5 16 and then I'm going to knock the T-nut into the hole when we come back. So, the T-nut is now smashed into that 5 16 hole and it's back behind the lumber. It's, it's up inside a little bit, which is what I want, because that way when I start my screw to attach to this, I can pull all of this tight to what I want for this little stand that we're making, and that'll do. Now, the next thing I gotta do is cut this, and we don't need all this stick here either, so we'll be cutting this down to whatever I want. Now, in this case, this is gonna be set up for using iPhones, so let's get to the next part. We've got the T-nut nailed in there, and we had to cut this twice in the saw. And it's been a lot of complaints about me not wearing uh, earplugs, which I think you probably should wear earplugs around power tools, especially if you're trying to save your hearing. I'm 50 years too late for that sort of technology. Uh, also, probably some, you know, something goggles to protect your eyesight. And, you know, lock this in with uh, clamps or something so you're not touching it with your fingers, because that way your hands aren't anywhere near the bl cutting blades or something. So, we didn't show me cutting this today. So there, I cut the three pieces. On the saw, I was going to show it to you guys, but there's been a lot of complaints, so guess you don't see how I do these things, right? <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> I know. So I don't know, I'm not even sure if it's safe to show you how to, you know, maybe drill a hole, put a slot here and a slot here, and that's going to be for our rubber bands. So we need to measure that slot or figure out whereabouts we want to do it. So we'll get a pencil and we'll make a couple slots back here and say, you know, about there, you know, kind of thing. Be right back and I'm back now this is the slots I was talking about and I used the uh, saw here to just run across that again if the fun police saw how I did that they would be absolutely freaking out because I didn't actually use the uh, proper stops uh, wasn't wearing earplugs I didn't have safety goggles on you should have all that safety stuff on you really should if you really want to enjoy the hobby like I said pay no attention to me I'm just you know this is something I've been doing for more than 50 years I I guess uh, maybe one of the next episodes I'll show you how, when I was about 21 years old, I built a uh, large wooden sailboat from scratch, from plans, by myself, and built it, and sailed it for a couple of years, and then sold the boat. I decided uh, a couple of boats later, after that, I would give up the projects and not build boats anymore. But this is the deal right here, and let's get that, let's get these bands out and have a look see what we got. I'm really not sure about what we have here. Well, that green is real pretty and it'll match the phone. See, it's going to go in the slot. And then we're going to go down to the bottom slot or the lower slot first, like this. And we're going to put the phone on here, like this. And come up over, come back to the slot, like this. And see, now we have a way to hold the phone. And we'll attach this. And I'm thinking actually coming up this way with the screws through the bottom of that. And then that can attach to a tripod. And I now have a way to hold the phone steady. So let's get the screws in and get this thing mounted on a tripod and we can have a look at it. So you can see what I'm getting at. There's the uh, tripod mount. There's the screw for it. I've screwed it in. Uh, it's now attached to the T. Everything's all nice and tight and assembled. And now we'll just put it on the tripod and we can mount our camera up here, in this case our iPhone, and we have a good steady shot that I can do work with. And this is important in situations, like I said, where I do two and three shots. I need the camera not to move between the shots so I can intermix the clips when I do like uh, effects, like dinosaurs running across the screen or whatever. So this is a really simple project. Uh, could make it a really uh, like a nice looking project. This is really rough, but the idea is just that. It's an idea, it's a concept. If you wanna make something fancy, go ahead. The other thing you can do is you can make this longer and you could put your iPad or something like that in the same idea. Just use elastic bands to strap it back. Put the camera back here facing you and you have the screen and you can see what you're doing and you can start and stop your videos and do 
time lapse or whatever it is off a tripod with your camera. It's just a, just a nice easy tool. I've tried buying the aftermarket stuff, nothing seems to fit. This phone is just, just too big and too clumsy all the time. But I really like having the Defender on here so if I ever drop the phone, I don't I obviously don't break it. I've had the phone for years and I have not broken it. So that's why, you know, because I've got this on there. But this creates a huge problem in the industry when you try to buy the fancy aftermarket clamps and stuff. This is just a quick, easy, simple, simple deal. It fixes a problem. It's solved an issue. Okay, so uh, let's put it on the tri tripod and I can show it to you here. So there it is, locked to the tripod. I put the elastic band right here in the first slot even, and I can strap my phone up here, and then I can shoot my video with my phone at whatever angles and stuff I want off a nice tripod. It's steady, it's gonna give me a nice finish, and I'll be able to duplicate two or three clips if I need to when I'm doing like an overlapping clip situation, which I do quite often. So there you go. Simple, easy, but it's a cool little wood project for today.